important is how much can people absorb? And I think this may be one of the, in my science clients and my folks who are doing deep uh, healthcare stuff, which I have a lot of clients in that industry. Well, I think sometimes they feel like they've got to provide a lot of stats no matter what. And I always say, well, is it, the, is it pre presenting all that data or is it what they will actually remember that's important? Sometimes you do need to present a lot of data for scientific reasons, but I also think statistics can tune people out, kind of like this movie that you're seeing here, which by the way, it's very easy to insert like little clip art movies into PowerPoint presentations to make them more animated and move them. You just click on insert and then video. And those videos can be a, a, online, a, a video that's on your PC or an online video from YouTube, or I think Vimeo, it'll do it too. Okay, so if my point is to stop the data deluge, my start is to think about gamifying the most important things that you want to convey. Gamification means that you turn that stat into a guessing game. And there's a very good reason, according to Psychological Science Organization, why you should do that. The more questions you ask, the more people will like you, and it increases your likability your likability. And I always think of this crazy game show, Family Feud. And Family Feud has been on, gosh, for 40 years. I don't know if anyone remembers this original host from this show, Family Feud. But all it is is stats. It's, like, <laughs> it's basically a bunch of surveys where you try to guess the answer. And they've made a bazillion dollars with this show, right? Oh, the, is it going to be piano, cinnamon trees? I mean, I don't know what this question was. But my, my point here is that when we gamify a stat, we can really uh, do a great job, I think, of, of, of getting people to remember that stat if they're engaging in it emotionally. So let me do one with you right now. Let's have...